it's a slide spectrum here, and I'm going to be doing uh, two videos today, but they're all going to be recorded today, so of course I'm going to be wearing the same outfit. Um, I tried to record this video I'm doing right now on July the 4th, and it's insane because that's almost been a whole month ago, and I sat down to edit the video and start, you know, figuring out what date it needed to be uh, uploaded so I could figure out about a birthday video for myself because my birthday's coming up. And I clicked on the thing to start, like I said, I was going and labeling my videos like this video is part of this set of videos for this date and so on and so forth. And come to find out, my stupid videos, I've recorded like three videos, but two of those videos I'm not even going to do anymore. I'm just going to get rid of them. I read the book. I don't necessarily have to do a review on it. But, um, come to find out, the video that I did, literally, the, the three videos, for some reason, did not record audio. So there was like at least maybe an hour or so more of content that did not get audio on it. So you can't even hear what I'm saying. I don't really remember exactly what I'm saying, but I'm going to re-record one of the videos so you'll get that from it. Anyway, uh, so let me look up this thing really quick. Um, so this video is about um, the book called uh, Wither by Lauren De Stefano. Um, now, like I said in that video, but you obviously won't see it, I do not know exactly if I'm saying her name right, and I don't know if I'm saying Ryan's name, the main character, but we're just gonna go with it. So, of course, I'm in my dad's living room, um, and so that's why it's strange. But this book is, um, I've got the information here so that I can just read it off so that I, because I, in those videos, I didn't know it because I had just turned it in. But I'm actually almost done with the next book, and so I may try to like do a quick um review of this one as well tonight while I'm on a roll. So if I mispronounce any of the names, um I'm sorry. So let's talk about the cover. The cover is actually quite beautiful. One of the prettiest covers I've seen since I started reading, which was like a million years ago. I'm almost twenty years old in a couple weeks I will be twenty. But it is one of those books that are just gorgeous, and honestly, I would pick up the book and force myself to read it, even if I didn't even like it. I would force myself to read this book just based on the cover alone. Um, the book, uh, like I said, I'm reading off the thing. Uh, the book kind of features this girl on the cover. She's kind of like, she almost looks kind of dirty, but not dirty in the bad way. She almost looks kind of like her hair is really messy, and um, I can't say anything about my hair, but her hair is kind of like scrunched and really messy. She's got this really pretty dress on that almost kind of looks tattered. There's a bird in a cage, and of course it has the name and the author, all that on it. So, um, let's see. This book was, is part of the Chemical Garden Trilogy, um, and it's so far one of, one of the best dystopian novels I've read since reading, and I don't really like dystopia, because the thing about dystopia is, the fact is you can do so much with dystopia, and it's not that I don't like dystopia, it's that it's just, it's really hard to wrap my brain around dystopia, not because I don't like it, because you can do, literally do anything with dystopia. You have all this new stuff about the United States and whatever country it's in and this and that and the other. And like this part of the country's flooded and this part of the country's fine and this and that and the other. And it freaks me out to know the thing messed up. So here I am again. Um, but the part about dystopia aggravates me and it's not, not really aggravates me, but it kind of just throws me through a loop is that you can do so much with it, and you're, it, it, it can get out of hand sometimes, and, like, not saying, um, but there's stuff that you just have to make it up in your mind, and I hate writing dystopia. I don't think I ever would want to write a dystopia novel, but the thing is, you can legitly do anything, and they make weapons, 
that are really hard to imagine for me. The Unless they provide a map, the setting is kind of hard for me, especially if they change the name of, like, if it's supposedly in the United States, but it's not called that anymore. They call it something else. It's just really hard for me to imagine, and it's really hard for me to get into the characters. So, um, but for a dystopian novel, I really love this book. I'm sorry, I'm gesturing. Um, it was published on... March 20, 2011, so it's, um, pretty, not too old, but not too, you know, near. Um, I read the hardback version, and it says that it has 368 pages. Uh, I'm sure that's roughly how many I had in my book. Of course, it wasn't my book, but I'm gonna read, um, just a little synapse, synopsis part of it, so that you can understand what's happening, and then I'll talk about the things I like and things I dislike, and then, um, I'll recommend it based on what age group I think would like it. Wither is a 2011 young adult dystopian novel written by Laura De Lauren DeStefano. It was originally published on March 22nd by Simon & Schuster. Set in the future where scientists succeeded in engineering a perfect generation of humans, free of illness and disorders, but as a consequence, also created a virus that plagues the generation's children and their ch and their children's children, killing females at the age of 20 and males at the age of 25. The fallout from this disaster drastically set apart from the poor, who scavenge for food in a society that's, no that's used to network from the rich, who celebrate each building built as a con continuance of the human race. The first book of the trilogy, um, next was called Fever, and then the last one's called Sever, which I'm planning to read and review all three, so don't freak out that I won't. Um, I kind of want this book to be made to a movie, because I think it would do justice on the screen. Now, um, I don't know if maybe there are any, like, ideas maybe that it'll happen, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't went into much detail with that, but basically, so that's basically the, the gist of the book, um, I'm gonna give you my condensed version, so basically all that stuff is true, but then these, so basically all the stuff that I mentioned from the little thing on the internet is true, but then they hunt these girls, and the first generations basically have these people called gatherers who hunt these girls randomly at like different ages and they just grab them up and then they steal them and they sell them to like first generation boys and other boys and then make them have sex with them. They make them marry them and have sister wives and then reproduce so that at one time they were um, like just, uh, what's the word? testing on the kids, on the babies and the little children and all that. So it's a very kind of dark novel, but um, I don't have the the first one, but I have the second one. It's a very dark novel with these absolutely gorgeous covers and, you know, on the back of that one. I'll talk more about that in the next uh, video I do. But it is set um, in Florida, I think. I could have swore they were in Florida or somewhere around in that area. And um, they call it Florida, but they don't really call it Florida. I mean, they call it Florida, but they really refer to... She never really says anything other than you know, Florida, or, like, uh, roughly where they are, but in this one, like, it's, like, set in South Carolina, and some parts of, like, Virginia, I think, and then, like, other places up there, and she calls the place in South Carolina a Scarlet District, which is basically kind of like a red light district, where they have, like, girls for sale, and you can just prostitute them out, but we do, like, we don't talk about it like Pan Am in The Hunger Games. Um, you know, we don't talk about it like Pan Am. We talk about it like it's Florida or it's South Carolina. Even though we call it a, a district, we still call the states what they are. We just don't refer to them as the states as much. But we still have that genuine um, idea that they are still states. So it makes it a little bit more believable. Because, you know, in 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 the United States right now, we call it the United States. There's, you know, Georgia, Florida, New York, California, South Carolina, there's Tennessee, there's Texas. We don't call it Pan Am. So you feel like if you still call it Georgia, or you still call it South Carolina, or you still call it 
New York or whatever you call it, it's a little bit more believable and it's a little bit scarier because you feel like it's closer in the future than Pan Am because you think, and I'll link, uh, because that's another good dystopian novel. I will link that below. But you think Pan Am and you think, like, really far into the future. We gotta get really, really crazy before we get that far. You know, does that make sense? Like, you think, okay, we still call it South Carolina. So, it may not be that far off. Um, and then, of course, the rise of, like, sister wives. Um, you know, it's kind of scary because that's another thing that can happen. Um, there are a lot of bad diseases going around that are somewhat curable and at the same time somewhat incurable so it scares you that maybe something like that can happen i'm not saying i think this will happen but it's easier to get behind a dystopian novel that's believable and not just really really out there you know i don't know if that makes sense but if you're a reader who likes dystopian you probably understand um so yeah that's one thing i wanted to say of course uh, i probably will touch back on that with this one but i don't know um Likes and dislikes about this book. I, there wasn't much I disliked about it other than the idea of, like, having a sister wife. I would freak out if I had a sister wife. And, you know, I guess if I was forced into it or else be killed, I would do it. But, um, it's a very weird concept because, like, I always think if I have a husband, I want it him. <laughs> I want my husband just to be my husband, you know? So, it's kind of a weird idea. Um, but I did love the book. Honestly, I did. Um, this book I have been working on for the longest. Uh, I started reading it. I don't even know when I started reading it, but it's been a while and it's aggravating because I was part of the first library I'm with and they only give you like a couple of weeks to finish it and then, um, you re renew it and you get another couple weeks and then you might not get to renew it because at the time I think I started reading it, it was... We had just got it at our library, so that means, of course, a lot of the teens are wanting to check it out, and, um, so it's kind of aggravating how to renew it, and it won't let you, so then you have to turn it in, let somebody else have their time, and then get it months later, whoever knows when you'd go back to the library, because at the time, I didn't have a driver's license, and so on and so forth, but now I do, and I can go to the library, but I don't have enough time, so... Anyway, that's my personal problem. But I've been reading that book for a while, and I finally finished it. And like I said, I'd pick it up and, like, chunk out of it. I'd take a chunk here and a chunk there, and it would be, like, forever. And then I'm so glad I didn't finish it, because then, like I said, I can review it for the channel. So, the things I like about it was just the concept. I just really liked it. Um, it was A+. Plus. Thank you, Lauren DeStefano. Um, I'm really kind of curious to see if maybe she has any more series out there, because I'm sure she probably does. If not, she's probably in the process of writing another series, but I haven't looked into it, so I might look into it, and if it sounds interesting, I might read into other series by her, if she has them. So, um, I think that's all I really want to say. Um, would I recommend this to anybody? Of course, if you like dystopian, um, sure, go ahead. Tell me how you like it. If you read this book, leave your information and uh, ideas down below. Would you... Be okay with a society like this? I don't know anybody who would, but do you like the idea of this book? Tell me below. Uh, also, you can find my Instagram, Wattpad, Fanfiction, DeviantArt, Twitter, and my fan page down below in the description. Um, I Like I said, I have the fever. It's literally just about done, and I'm going to go ahead and review it. Um, and I also have another juicy read that I literally am about to finish. This big, I'm literally going to review it next. So, I'll see you next week with that one. And uh, I hope you all have a great week. Bye, guys.